Two at eight, the man arrested in connection to the death of Minnesota native Adam Johnson is now free on bail. But there are still a lot of questions about him and what's next. Kelly O'Connell is in our live center with the latest on this uh, this tragedy that we've been following. Good morning, Kelly. Yeah, good morning. In an update this morning, charges still pending, but police in South Yorkshire, England, shared an update this morning saying the suspect has bonded out of jail and is now a free man, at least for now, as the investigation continues. Officials have not released his name, not even his age, but we are told the person was arrested on suspicion of manslaughter. So news of yesterday's arrest and really lack of details have led to a lot of speculation, of course. Many are wondering if it is the fellow hockey player, Matt Petgrave, who is the person who's potentially in legal trouble here. His skate sliced Johnson's neck during the on-ice collision nearly three weeks ago, killing Johnson, Minnesota native. Officials in England have been investigating the incident really shortly after it all happened, but charges are rarely filed in sports injury cases. There really is an assumption in a lot of sports that you, you engage in it and you there's a little bit of sense of assumption of risk. You're participating knowing that there may be problems with it. Even in hockey, where fights used to be more common. So it's it's pretty, pretty rare. Rare, yes, but not unprecedented for hockey players to be charged. Back in 1992, an Italian player was charged with culpable homicide after slashing someone in the chest during a game. The other guy died as a result of cardiac arrest, and the suspect ended up pleading guilty to manslaughter. In Canada, two NHL players in recent history have been charged for on-ice action. One incident involved a two-handed slash to the head, ended up with the suspect getting a year and a half of probation, and the other one was an assault charge filed after a player was sucker punched. That suspect took a plea deal, ending up with probation and community service. Now, Adam's team in England, his former team, planning a memorial game this Saturday in his honor. Take a look at this new video showing the ice being painted there with a heartfelt message reading, Adam Johnson forever, our 47. Now, one of our reporters did reach out to Adam's family about the arrest yesterday. They say they are unable to comment right now, but in previous interviews with the family, they did say they desperately wanted the police to investigate his death, his death thoroughly. So again, still a lot of questions, but some developments over the pond in England this morning. Guys, back to you.